really grateful to you, Your Excellency, for having come uh, and to share with us maybe some of the challenges, some of the opportunities that you see uh, and also strengthening uh, the European-Russian relationship. Uh, you know, what, what again can we do as young leaders to contribute uh, to a stronger relationship between Europe and Russia, uh, and perhaps also the role that Moldova has. So uh, if you could all maybe join me in giving a very, very warm welcome for His Excellency, the Ambassador of Moldova to Germany. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you very much for, for this uh, wonderful opportunity to, to, to speak in front of you and to meet uh, uh, the future politicians of uh, European countries and non-European countries, which uh, brings the hopeful that, that the, the future relationships all around the world will be much better than nowadays. Um, well, uh, you are absolutely right. Uh, for such a small country like Moldova, which I am representing here in Germany, uh, it's a crucial importance to establish a very strong and, and uh, mutual beneficial relations between European Union and Russian Federation. And I'm talking here perhaps not only on behalf of my own country, but uh, on all former Soviet Union or today uh, CIS countries, because we're accepting from the former Soviet Union the Baltic states. Uh, it's also available for, for Ukraine, it's also available for Georgia, for Caucasus area. Uh, it's also available also for Poland today. When we're looking through history, uh, permanently these relations between Europe and uh, Russian, uh, at that time the Russian Empire now, so then Soviet Union, nowadays Russian Federation, uh, has sometimes a dramatically consequences for for whole continent. Um, well, looking forward, uh, I follow very, very um, close uh, the, 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 the speech what's held Mr. Kasyanov here and answering in your very interesting questions. Um, of course, it's not an easy task to, to establish uh, powerful relations, a very uh, friendly and, and, let me to repeat once more, mu with mutual beneficiary uh, relations between, between Moscow and, uh, and the European Union. Uh, but indeed, the European Union has to deal with the reality on the field. Mr. Putin will be the next president as from the 7th of May of the Russian Federation. Mr. Putin perhaps will nominate Mr. Medvedev as a future prime minister of the Russian Federation. These two components are well known in European Union and of course European Union should and will deal with, with the new team over in Kremlin and, and in the Russian government. Uh, for Moldova, uh, it's a very important to, firstly, to keep our uh, orientation toward European Union integration and at the same time to keep a very good friendly relations with Russian Federation. Each troubles appeared between Brussels and Moscow immediately we feel in our own country. Uh, just an example, Moldova depends 100% from uh, gas import from Russian Federation. You know, Gazprom was officially declared as strategic weapon of uh, Russian foreign policy. And of course, if we are, if we are looking uh, through the foreign policy uh, priorities of the Russian Federation, uh, Moscow tries to keep its influence all over the CIS region, including a lot of former Soviet Union republics. And Moldova is also not a subject, but an object of these uh, negotiations between Moscow and European Union from one hand and perhaps the United States from the other hand. Well, and immediately when appears some troubles between Brussels and Moscow, Moscow reacts uh, towards small countries like Moldova, which fully dependent from, from, from uh, energy sources of, of Russian Federation, Gazprom offering a much higher price for gas uh, delivered to, to 
in our case, in my case, to, to the Republic of Moldova. It was the same situation also with Ukraine. It was a similar situation with, uh, with some Caucasus uh, uh, countries. And of course, now Republic of Moldova has to make its final choice. Where should be in the future my country? Either with the European family, democratized, uh, with a full-fledged democ democratic institutions, uh, with a, a prosperous national economy, with an independent national economy, or we remain in the sphere of influence, uh, not only politically, but also economically, uh, from Russian Federation. And it seems to be a, a problem in uh, overcoming the former Soviet mentality in, uh, in Moscow, uh, in the high level politicians from, from Russian Federation to understand that um, soft power in relations with near neighborhood, which is, uh, this formulation is very popular in, in, in Russian Federation. Uh, soft power brings much more dividends as hard, as, uh, hard power. Unfortunately, uh, Russian Federation tries to, tries to uh, use hard lines in relations with, with Republic of Moldova, in relations with Ukraine, in relations, the case of uh, uh, 8 August uh, 2008 in Caucasus. Um, and just afterwards, sometimes uh, realized that it could be much better to, to use a soft power as a something like very, very hard actions. It was exactly the situation in, in, uh, uh, after August 2008, after this military confrontation between Russian Federation and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Georgia, when, uh, when uh, Moscow suddenly realized that after this short uh, confrontation, uh, it was fully isolated at the international level. Now, the case Moldova offers another possibility for Russian Federation to show that some of frozen conflicts in the former Soviet Union area, namely Transnistrian conflict, which uh, is in the Republic of Moldova, could be solved uh, not with weapons, but with a political dialogue. It seems to be that the European Union tries to convince Moscow leaders that it could be a pillar, this example of solving the Transnistrian conflict, could be a pillar for uh, deepening the partnership relations between European Union and Russian Federation. And in this very manner was also signed on the 5 June 2010 in Messeberg, so-called Messeberg Memorandum between uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel and uh, Russian President Mr. Medvedev which seems to offer this possibility of permanent dialogue between European Union and Russian Federation on security and foreign policy matter, on the level between Madame Ashton and, and Sergei Lavrov, Russian foreign minister, including, and it's stay quite clear in this text of the memorandum, including the political solution, final political solution of Transnistrian conflict. Uh, well, you know, Frankly speaking, and I hope that our discussion here is uh, under the Chatham rule, um, frankly speaking, Moldova is, uh, is a coin in, in the huge geopolitical game. Um, from one side being United uh, States and European Union, or Western uh, part of the civilization, and from the other side, Russian Federation with its own interests uh, towards our geographical region. And it includes not only Republic of Moldova, it includes also Ukraine, it includes also uh, Caucasus area, uh, Central Asia, and so on and so forth. We have to deal with it, and we have to accept this, this uh, situation, and we have to find our uh, own strategy in dealing in the interest of my own country and all these perturbations, if I may say this, this one. Um, of course, we are doing 
all of our best to, to, to go closer to the European Union. Uh, unfortunately, Republic of Moldova is not yet declared as a uh, country with European perspectives because uh, at that time, in the 2003, when in Salonik in Greece was decided who, uh, which countries will, will belong to the possibility, possible uh, further extension of the, of the European Union, at that time Moldova was ruled by the Communist Party and for the Communist Party at that time was not interesting to, to join the European Union. At that time the Communist uh, ruling party was mostly interested in, in, in uh, going closer to so-called Belarusia uh, Russian uh, Union, but uh, after the uh, un uh, unhappy case of uh, unsigning from Moldovan side of so-called so -called memorandum Kozak, Kozak is not about the Kozaks, it's on the, uh, Dmitry Kozak, the name of uh, the advisor to um, Mr. Putin at that time, uh, the president of Russian Federation, which tries to solve politically the Transnistrian conflict, but completely not in the favor of interests of Republic of Moldova. And uh, at that time, Moldovan president just refused to sign this, uh, this memorandum on the momentum when Putin was driving from Kreml to airport to take a plane to Chisinau, my capital city, taking part in the official ceremony on signing of this, of this memorandum. And can you imagine what a kind of frustration uh, has at that time Putin, when, uh, after receiving a call from my president, uh, the Moldovan president at that time, he needs to uh, turn uh, back uh, the, 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 its own car and coming back to, to Kremlin. Of course, after that period was immediately frozen the relations between Republic of Moldova and Russian Federation uh, with a huge consequences, of, uh, including economically one, because the Russian Federation uh, suddenly prohibited um, uh, import of Moldovan wine to, to, to Russian market. At that time, Russian market was uh, most uh, market of, of uh, exporting of, of Moldovan wine. And after this case, even the Communist Party understood at the time that the Republic of Moldova, the single possibility of surviving for such a small country, uh, is to join the European Union, which offers a guarantee of prosperity, guarantee of security, and guarantee of, of, uh, of uh, democratic uh, development of, uh, of our nation and of, of, uh, of my country. Well, it's uh, quite difficult, it's not very easy, and uh, uh, it was a very summary presentation uh, of, of uh, realities in, in, in my country and in connection with this huge game between European Union and Russian Federation. Uh, and, uh, I would not like to take a much of uh, take much a lot of, of your time, but I'm uh, I prefer to answer of your concrete question if you have some of this, and afterwards perhaps together uh, either with Mr. Kasyanov to to talk uh, more in details about the uh, behavior in the region at all. Thank you.